Okay, welcome. We are going to quickly set up um, an InDesign document for creating a folded brochure. So through your paper dummy making, you have the dimensions that you need. Um, in this case, it's going to be 3.875 by 9.125. In InDesign, you're going to have a page for every panel of your folded brochure. So if we're going to do the double gate fold and you open your paper dummy out, you will see that you have four panels on one side and four panels on the other side. Four plus four is eight. So we're going to have an eight page in design document to create the double gate fold brochure. Make sure facing pages is turned off. You can add a bit of margin if you'd like, and we're ready to create our document. Now we're going to use the pages panel over here to set our document up so that the spreads look like how we were sketching. So we're going to set the document up to look like viewing spreads, not printing spreads. All right, so what we have to do is just select all the pages in the pages panel. So page one is selected, hold down shift, click on page eight. Now they're all blue, they're all selected. Under the horizontal bars on the top of the pages panel, click and you're going to uncheck allow selected pages spreads to shuffle. So I did that. Now you can see all the numbers are in brackets. And what we can do now is we can drag pages together to create spreads. So page one will leave as the front cover. Pages two and three we can bring together as that first spread when you first open the cover of the double gate fold you see two panels as a spread that will be pages two and three when you open those two panels up you get the four panel full spread so we'll drag you can see i'm just dragging pages up near pages above it you sort of see how my cursor changes and there's a bracket as soon as i release the click the pages lock in place like this all right, and then I have a back cover. So eight panel brochure is an eight page InDesign document and you can see how we have the pages set up. It's pretty handy to label these pages. So that way as we move into creating printer spreads, we don't get confused as far as which pages are which. I'm just gonna make a big text box outside of the trim of my pages and label what the stuff is. Front cover, this is the back cover. I'm going to label each page slash panel individually. That way when things start to shift around, I don't get confused. I'm going to call this first spread left. And that would make this first spread right. And then we've got our big interior spread. Let's call this interior spread one. Just number them. Two, three, four. All right, so now my document is all set up to begin copying the text out of the Word file and pasting it into InDesign and designing the brochure. One more handy tip I would just like to point out is about margins and gutters. As we've discussed in class, the folds of the brochure make a nice natural gutter for your text. So you most likely will want to have different margins on the outside of the document versus the inside of the document. So if I just put some placeholder text in these text boxes, just so you can see what we're doing here. Obviously this is just a bunch of ugly text, but you can kind of get the idea. So you can see how this looks with 
equal margins on the inside of between the two columns and on the outside of the document. What would probably look better is if we pulled these margins in tighter to the gutter. And that way there is a larger outside margin than inside margin between the columns of text because you also have to remember this black line is not actually going to be there. It'll just be the crease of the paper. So bear that in mind. Um, and if you aren't sure how to create different margins in your InDesign file, super simple. You just select the page that you want to adjust. So we'll adjust this right hand page right here. So I've selected it in the pages panel. Go up under layout, margins and columns. With preview checked on, you will see this change as I make changes. So I'm gonna unlink the margins. That way I can make them different. And I'm gonna pull this left hand margin out wider. So on the left one, I'm gonna decrease the margin like so. Okay, so I'm doing this value, keep that in mind, copy. And then on page six, this interior spread three, we'll change the margins as well. So I'll change this right hand margin to match. And now you can see these margins are tighter than the outside margins. Okay. So that is how you set up your InDesign document for designing your brochures. Again, we're designing it for how we sketched it, the viewing order of the pages and spreads. If you tried to print this out, you would not be able to print it out and fold it up into a double gateful brochure. We will do that later once we've established our design. Okay, so this should get you started.